So I'm first gonna swatch Twilight Sparkle Purple and she looks like this. And this is the color, it's like a nice bright purple. When you purchase the mask, you also get this applicator inside, just so you guys know. And that is Twilight Sparkle Purple. So next we have Princess Luna Black. This one you might have seen before. This is the original glitter mask shade. So it is a black and it has holographic stars in it, which I love. I think that is so pretty. And lastly, we have Pinkie Pie Pink. And this is a hot pink, beautiful, beautiful shade. It has like iridescent glitter in it. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing Pinkie Pie because Pinkie Pie is the social light and life of the party. I'm feeling like I'm in a party mood today. I'm so excited to put this on. I think this is the cutest packaging and I just love the glitter. I think it's so fun. It makes it so much more fun to apply. Like masks are cool. I really find masks relaxing, but the fact that this has glitter in it makes it so much more fun. So I'm gonna use the applicator to apply it and I just like to stir it, give it a really good stir. Also like to do this. I don't know why I just do. I love seeing the glitter, oh, it's so pretty. And now I'm gonna put it all over my face. So I like to start with clean, cleansed, and just fresh skin. So I have washed my face and I have moisturized. So I'm just gonna go over the top with this mask. So I like to start at my forehead and I avoid my brows. So when you're applying this, you just wanna avoid your brow area basically. So sparkly and pretty. I also wanted to mention that how long you leave this mask on will definitely depend on your application. And I like to apply a thicker layer because I like to take it off in one piece. I don't know, I just like to, it's so much fun. And if you want a nice even piece, I would definitely suggest applying it a little bit thicker and making sure you let it dry fully before taking it off. And as it's drying, the ends and the edges of it will start to lift and that's how I'll know that I need to take it off. I also wanted to mention to you guys that these Glam Glow Glitter Masks with My Little Pony have the same benefits as the original Gravity Mud Firming Treatments. So if you've tried the original, you know that it makes your skin feel very firm and it also really defines the face and the contour of the face so it feels a little bit tightened and it's perfect before makeup application because your skin feels so much more firm and it's just nice before you put on makeup. So that is what we're gonna be getting today with this. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'll come back and we'll do the look. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. This is my favorite part. All right, so now I'm gonna wipe off the excess. All right, you guys, so I'm back and my skin feels really, really firm. That's one thing I wanna say is that it feels really tightened. Like it doesn't feel dry because my skin still feels like it has moisture to the touch, but it feels really, really firm and tightened and it feels good, I like it. So I would say definitely this mask is great before makeup and I think it's gonna be awesome before this look we're about to do. But I just wanna say that my skin does still feel really soft to the touch, it doesn't feel dry, I don't have any dry patches or anything like that. And I feel like my face is just a lot more firm. So I have my foundation on, I have my brows on, all of the face products are on, and now we're gonna move on to the eyes because I really wanna concentrate on this My Little Pony inspired eye look. The first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to prime and also carve out my brows using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm just gonna place this under the brow like so also a little bit on the lid. So now we're gonna go in with some bright shadow and I love this palette from Sephora. This is the editorial palette and I'm obsessed with the pro palettes but this one is my favorite. This is like a can't live without palette. I just love it. It has every color I need. I hope this never ever goes because I will be so sad if Sephora gets rid of this palette because it's my favorite. First shade I'm gonna grab is this hot pink and I'm just gonna start blending that into the crease of my eye. I'm just blending this right into the crease and I'm also going to wing it out a little bit. So now I'm going to pack this light purple on the lid. So I'm going to start placing this on the lid and I'm just going to start bringing this up into the crease, into that pink. And now I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more of that hot pink and blend this into the crease just so we have a bit of separation from the purple and pink and you can really see the difference in the two colors. And now I'm gonna grab the darker purple in the palette and I'm gonna be using this on the outer corner of the eye. So I'm just going to pop it right in the outer corner only just to add some depth to this look. 
and I'm just pressing down and then swiveling my brush upwards. And I'm just taking my fluffy brush after and really blending that out. And I'm really winging it out as well. I'm really bringing this shape outwards. I'm gonna really bring this out so it makes the eyes look long like a pony's. So I'm just grabbing the white shade in the palette and I love this white because it is so bright. And I'm just placing it right in the brow bone area and blending down so it blends all of these shadows into each other really nicely. I just love that fade of like color into white. So these shades like this one and this one and this one, these are really nice toppers. So I'm gonna actually pick up this silvery one and I'm gonna go ahead and place this right in the inner corner of the eye. And this is almost like a glitter topper. It is so shimmery and pretty. I love it, I think it is so pretty. I'm just gonna place that right in the inner corner and I'm also going to pop it right on the brow bone too and then just blend it out with my finger. So now I'm gonna pop on this turquoise eyeliner and this is the Sephora Collection Crayon Jumbo 12 Hour Jumbo Liner and it's waterproof. I've used this almost three tutorials in a row now. I just love this color. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on the waterline. Look at how pretty that color is. I love it. And now I'm gonna grab this light blue and I'm gonna start smudging this light blue on the waterline and lower lash line. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this dark blue and I'm just gonna use that to blend in the outer corner. I'm just gonna connect the blue and the pink together. We can't forget about Princess Luna Black. I feel like I have all the colors except her. So I'm gonna do a wing liner and I am using the Smashbox Always On Liquid Eyeliner. I have been loving this eyeliner, it is so nice. I feel like it's really precise and it's really black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wing it. This liner literally is so amazing. And it's really black. It's like equivalent to like an opaque gel liner. So I also have the Superfan Mascara from Smashbox. So I'm gonna pop this on. And I actually do really like this too. This is a really gel-like formula. And the wand is very, very nice for really grabbing the lashes at the root. I'm just gonna coat these lashes. Now I'm gonna pop back into the Pro Palette and I'm just gonna grab this dark blue and I'm gonna blend it in the outer corner connecting it to the black shadow. And I'm also gonna grab the tiniest bit of the black and connect that onto the lower lash line. All right, so it's time for lashes. So I'm gonna be popping on the Tarte Mermaid Lashes. This is from their Mermaid Collection. And I used this in that video and I really love these. And I feel like mermaids and unicorns, they kind of go hand in hand. I feel like they're long lost relatives. So I feel like if the ponies, you know, had lashes, if they were actual real people, they would have colored lashes. And these lashes are awesome. So I'm gonna pop these on. This is my favorite bronzer, so I'm gonna pop on the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bronzer. And I'm just gonna warm up my skin with this. I swear, as you're using this, and if you, you know, your mouth is open a little bit, if you get some in your mouth, it is seriously the best thing ever because it tastes like chocolate. Love this bronzer. It's so, so good. So I couldn't not use the Too Faced Unicorn Tears lipstick. So Too Faced does unicorn products so amazing and I love their new unicorn collection. So I really wanted to use something from there for this look and this is the Unicorn Tears La Cream Lipstick and I'm gonna top it off with the Magic Crystal Transforming Lip Topper and this is like a lip gloss. This looks blue but when you apply it to your lips it is a really pretty purpley pink color and I think it is so perfect for this unicorn look. So we definitely need to highlight, so I'm going to be using the Metal Crush Highlighting Palette from Kat Von D. And there's a really pretty pink in here that I want to use, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one up. And I'm using this on a Tarte Mermaid brush. It's so pretty, I love it. It has like a lot of glitter in it, but I think it is so perfect for this look. So pretty and pink. So because I wanna make this a festival pony look, I'm gonna stick on some gems and I'm gonna stick this one on my forehead. I feel like this is so pretty for this look. I love it, love it so much. I'm also gonna stick some under my eyes. And now to really complete the look, you wanna add some glitter in the hair. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Mermaid Glitter Gel, but I'm also gonna mix in some silver glitter to add kind of like a glitter slick back in the hair.
So if you guys haven't noticed, I am in love with glitter. I literally love using glitter. I use it all the time. And now that it's festival season, any excuse I have to put glitter in my hair, I am taking it because I love it. I'm also going to apply some of that glitter to my chest and neck. And now I'm gonna apply the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter, and this is in the shade Pyro. This is a really pretty iridescent white. I'm just gonna go ahead and place this right into the inner corner of my eye, just for some little extra sparkle. I feel like we need some more glitter right in here. I'm also gonna take this glitter and I'm going to underline my brow with it. I just randomly decided I wanted to do this because I feel like it would be so cool for festival. Ooh, that's pretty. Just grabbing a little bit more glitter on a small brush and I'm just placing it right underneath the eyes. You can never have too much glitter if you're going to a festival. Seriously, this is the exact look I would do if I was going because I just love it. Now lastly to lock everything in, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Festival Refresh Mystical Effect Setting and Refreshing Spray. I love this because there's actually a powder inside, it's purple, and when you shake it up and you spritz this on your face, it gives you the most beautiful glow. Alright you guys, I hope you all love this video and I was so inspired by the glitter masks. I feel like this look came out perfect and if I was going to a festival, I would totally wear this because I am so in love with it. I used all the colors and I was just really inspired by Pinkie Pie. So I feel like if she were a real girl, she would probably look like me right now. Oh, I just love this look. I want to wear it forever. I literally don't want to take it off. I love it. I hope you guys loved the mask and you loved seeing me apply it and use it and give you my thoughts on it and also doing this look inspired by the ponies. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. If you did like it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and let me know down below what is your favorite glitter mask are you gonna pick one up are you obsessed with glitter i want to know so let me know down below what you thought of this video and thank you guys so much for watching today i hope you all enjoyed it and have an amazing rest of your week and i will see you in my next tutorial Bye.